So the need that this meets for us is we're, we're able to operate uh, a 14 foot wide mow width with, uh, with roughly an 80, 80 horsepower uh, tractor, which is a really, really big deal. Um, rather than this uh, tract or this mower being set up on a three point, it's, it's tow behind. Uh, the wheels on the back, uh, they allow us to travel at about five miles an hour. Uh, for those in the farming business, that's, uh, at least from my perspective, that's, that's fast. And, um, and, and so the other, the other aspect of this machine is we try to accomplish, again, as much as we can in one pass. Uh, we have a blower unit on this. And Joe, what are the, uh, where's Joe at? What are the specs on this? The, the amount of uh, uh, airflow? At 20,000 CFM. So 20, 20, 20,000 CFM per side. Um, and we're playing with we're playing with where the optimal uh, elevation to put these tubes are, whether it's down low, and we're and we're trying to blow out the mummy nuts in the in the winter time. That's that's what we're trying to do. And we've also found that we can blow uh, some of the uh, the prunings as well, the smaller prunings out of out of the row as well. And that's that's a pretty significant advantage. So. Uh, you can see this tube's up a little bit higher, that tube's down a little lower, and we're just kind of playing with what, what's best. At this point, we're finding that having the tube up a little bit higher and having the airflow come down is a little bit, little bit better. And I think it's kind of because a lot of the walnuts, especially in our more uh, mature orchards, there's a lot of worm activity and it makes the ground unlevel. Well, the airflow is, just imagine yourself kind of nestled into the sand and the beach, the, the, the breeze will go right over the top of you when you're down low. Well, that's the same thing with the walnuts. I think the, the, the wind is just basically going right over the top, but with the air coming down, we're able to blow the, the walnuts out. So uh, the 14 foot width is, is ideal for us uh, with our, with our spray, spray pattern. And again, uh, version 2.0 is the idea of putting uh, rotary mowers on the outside that, uh, that adjust with, uh, with the width of the, uh, of the tree row. This is 24, uh, our, our narrowest is 20, 22. So we definitely need to have adjustable uh, rotary mowers on, on, the, on the sides to, to, to make that work such that we can uh, eliminate or, or minimize the, the weed spray strip in the, in the middle. So um, what else on this? We, we had, a, we had a, a Verismo put a, a, a hitch on the back and we're able to pull our weed sprayer at the same time, uh, all electronic, uh, 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 valves on our weed sprayer, and then we send a, uh, a send a signal up to the cab as well for um, uh, for the flow meter, so we know exactly how much many gallons per per minute we're putting we're putting out.